Crypto Slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to remove liquidity from the Uniswap V2. Now, they have changed the interface a little bit. The pool tab used to be on the swap tab, but now pool is broken out into its own separate thing. The reason I'm doing this video is they have made it a little confusing to remove liquidity. Um, as always, you can use zapper.fi and click on the invest tab and use the single pull withdraw. Um, it works well, but for the purpose of this video, we're showing how to do it on Uniswap. So the key is Uniswap does not automatically recognize all of your pools, even though you're on Uniswap. This makes no sense to me. So let's get started. Go over to uniswap.org, click on pool, and this gives you the pool tab. And then it loads up whatever pools it thinks you have. Okay. So in this case, I'm in the uni ETH pool, but I'm going to use sleep because there's still a little sleep left from the other day's degenerate activities. So the key here is you have to import your liquidity pair token into the system. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you do is you click on import it, okay? And then you need to know what the secondary token. Obviously you have your original pair, which I know was ETH, and then you have to import your token. So I go ahead and put that in there. I click add, and then here's the key. You have to click on it, okay? And then what it'll do is it will show this pool. And as you can see, it says manage this pool. So I click manage this pool. And then you wait for this to load. And then now it shows, it loops back and shows you. So I am going to click the down arrow. And then you can simply hit remove liquidity. That's it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe. Be sure to check out the full Ethereum playlist below on managing your MetaMask and Ethereum. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.